Hey and welcome back guys to the next episode of Agent Under Fire. Today we're doing Night of the Jackal. And I remember this one being a tough one. Retrieved in Switzerland includes a file titled Damaged Goods. We believe this is a code word for Dr. Natalia Demescu, a scientist formerly in the employ of Malprey. Dr. Damescu escaped with a data chip containing information on something known as Poseidon. Fearing for her life, she has taken refuge in the British Embassy in Romania. There is evidence that Malprave has hired Carla the Jackal to raid the embassy and kidnap Dr. Damascu. Bond, you must prevent her from being kidnapped. 007, I've secured a room in an upper floor apartment around the corner from the embassy. You'll have to get past a sniper on the tree-lined street to get into the apartment. I'll provide you with a device that will allow you to infiltrate the embassy. Now this is actually a very fast stage if you know where to go. Um... It's a little bit open when you first see it, but once you understand where to go, it's quite easy. The beginning, at least. Bond. Malprave is going to attempt direct assault on the embassy. Their target is Dr. Natalia Damescu, who used to work for Malprave. She has a data chip indicating the location of something known as Poseidon. Make sure that Dr. Damescu is not captured. Alright. Now... First thing we need to do, immediately, position ourselves right here. And fight. Now, as you'll see, everyone's attacking the embassy over there. And there are all these people here, in the courtyard. You don't actually need to pay attention to them whatsoever. The front of the building, and they've taken civilian hostages. Don't care. You'll need to take an alternate route to ensure their safety. Use the safe house on the other side. Yeah, to ensure their safety, I'm ignoring them. You can get more points for subduing them, but I don't care about the points. Oops, I don't want the specs. Got to go up to the safe house. Oops. There we go. And you see, if you know where to go, you can really beeline this mission. Ah, yes. The latest in holographic technology. I thought that would catch your eye, 007. Now pay attention. This ordinary-looking business card contains circuitry that will turn your watch into a skeleton key for digital locks. Its beam will disrupt any digital encryption. Quite clever, I dare say. Kinda have to wonder why he didn't give that to me in the first place. And is this gonna be a bond move? Yep. Don't know how you could possibly miss it. However, we can now go on to the second part of the mission, the significantly harder part. Now, you can actually die quite easily in that shootout at the beginning, because there are so many people. However, you can really run past a lot of them. If you don't know that you can run past so many of them, you might just die. And I don't think there's anything in there to get. Here are the hostages they were talking about. Ah, well, that's a dead hostage. She probably shouldn't have stood up during my gunfire. Oh, no, I lose for that, right. That's the frustrating part about this mission, is one bullet from you will kill a hostage, and sometimes they'll just stand up right in the line of fire. Consider that an example of how it can go wrong. Luckily, I have never seen uh, a hostage get actually executed by an enemy. Yes, killing the ne necessary enemies was a Bond move. Don't know why I keep hitting X to jump. I just beat this game the other night. Alright, we're back in the embassy, which we had to break into before. Yeah. 
and we're almost out of ammo, so I'm actually going to switch to the Viper. There we go. And do we have a shotgun? No, we do not. This is our strongest. Okay. Remember that one, uh, English flag? There we go. The name is Bond. James Bond. They've taken the data chip containing the information of Poseidon. Uh, the all you're gonna say? Okay. Alright, I believe we're going to the boss fight now, which is actually quite a difficult fight. In fact, we're a little low on ammo. Come on. Okay, the next room is a boss fight. And yeah, we're pretty low on ammo. We got a lot of this, but not a good gun. Well, well, the famous James Bond. Oh, she's about to shoot a rocket at us, so we need to damage her enough. Or, you could stand right here where I believe she would hit the floor with the rocket. Now all you have to do is damage her enough that she walks in front of the crane. And the best way to do it is stand under her feet. That was a bond move. The jackal. What happened? She's fallen for me. Ugh. That's kind of amazing. So, she's dead. Uh, that was the first of the two bosses we're about to fight. Uh, that boss fight is a lot harder if you don't shoot her from above, under, or from below, under the feet. Uh, so keep that in mind when you fight her, and don't pull up the barrels until she gets to them. Now she dropped this, which the alt fire is a grenade launcher with three grenades. We're gonna need that. Now we need to fight a battlecopter. And the first tip, because this guy will kill you really easily, is immediately run to the left and grab the rocket launcher. Here we go. It's not that copter. It's that copter. There is ammo around the stage. Okay. You can hit this thing with grenade launcher, it's just difficult. And I don't think the rockets spawned. Oh no, here they are. Uh, and there's another one. Damn it. Whoa. Ah, a little higher. Come on. Okay, all those missed. You know, if we switch to... You can still do damage like this. It means you can keep moving. Okay. Once it's going into its death spin, you don't know where it's going to land the first time you play, and it can kill you if it lands on you. It's really unfair, <laughs> because you don't know where it'll land. As far as I'm aware, it always hits that wall right there, which was where I was hiding the first time. Don't know if shooting in here helps, but I'm just gonna do it. See, it looks like it's gonna land on you. But every time I've ever practiced it, it lands on that wall. Yep. And then, bam. That's where it landed on me. That, hard is that fight is actually a lot harder than it might have looked. Um, because his machine guns do an insane amount of damage if you don't keep moving at all times. And even if you keep moving, sometimes it'll shoot where you're going to be. God. Two seconds overboard on mission duration. 
All right, that's it for this episode. Next episode is this one, which I believe is the... Yeah, that's the last uh, driving stage. There are only two driving stages in the game. Uh, unless that's one of the on-rails one, in which I don't believe it is. Might be. Actually, you know what? That might be. My memory sucks for these things. But we're already, like, halfway done the game. There are not many missions in this game. There are 12... Yeah, we are halfway done. That was mission 6, and there are 12 missions in the game. Alright? So, until next time, have a nice day.